We're back, and as this nation goes green, we hear that expression more and more. People are looking around, questioning the stuff of everyday life that can be done better, cleaner, and with less of an impact on the planet. This next story is one of those. Something so easy to miss, so easy to ignore, it takes somebody to focus and pay attention to change it. The story tonight from NBC's Roger O'Neill. A new door of opportunity is opening to get hooked on saving the planet. Metal or cardboard, just like paper or plastic at the grocery, could become the new mantra of dry cleaners, as New York businessman Bob Cantor tries to get green in every closet. We use 100% recycled paper to create eco hangers. In addition, they are fully recyclable and biodegradable. So we've created a product that truly is good for the environment. Like most good for the planet product, eco hangers cost more than metal. But Cantor, a former ad executive, saw that as an opportunity, convincing marketers from airlines to deodorants to try hanger advertising. This is a billboard in the bedroom. A billboard that gets noticed. There are people who actually keep track of how many metal hangers we use in this country. And it's staggering, three and a half billion a year. Those same people say if you stack those hangers end to end, you can take a trip to the moon three times. Three Lori Willis is happier not going to the landfill. I felt guilty about all the wire hangers and just throwing them away. The eco hangers are given to dry cleaners, saving about a nickel for every metal hanger not used. At clothesline cleaners in San Antonio, that's 350,000 times five cents, a nice savings. But Durba Mills says it's also good business to be green. It's just a perfect and easy thing to do. If eco hangers catch on, they could recycle an old line from the movie Mommy Dearest. No more hangers! With a shirt hanging on them, eco hangers are supposed to be just as durable as metal. But their real value is when they're thrown away. When they don't, hang around. Roger O'Neill, NBC News, San Antonio.